Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 222. Name all the tumors in which there would be an elevated levels of S100 protein. The S100 protein tumor market would be elevated in melanoma, neural tumors, and schwannomas. Name all the situations in which you would see an elevated levels of alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase may be elevated in conditions when cancer has metastasized to the bone, liver, and in cases of Paget's disease of the bone. Name some tumors in which you would see an elevated levels of bombesine. Bombesine may be elevated in conditions such as neuroblastoma as well as in cases of lung and gastric cancers. What does the tumor marker TRAP stand for? T -R -A -P. The tumor marker TRAP stands for tartrate resistant acid phosphatase. In which cancer would there be an increase in the level of tartrate-resistant acid phosphatase? TRAP would be increased in hairy cell leukemia, which is a type of B-cell neoplasm. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the cancer in which the levels of TRAP would be elevated? The mnemonic is TRAP the hairy animal, because TRAP is elevated in hairy cell leukemia. Name the cancer in which the levels of the tumor marker CA19-9 would be elevated. The cancer in which CA19-9 would be elevated is pancreatic adenocarcinoma. In which cancer would the tumor marker calcitonin be elevated? Calcitonin would be elevated in medullary thyroid carcinoma. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.